Alrighty, welcome to Doki Doki. I'm restarting. I got everything all situated. Alrighty, let's try this again. broadcast on my laptop that I didn't have there just yet, so that was my fault. Uh, fair warning, this uh, Pacific game. Hello, welcome to my broadcast. Uh, but this, fair warning, this Pacific game is um, a trigger warning to anybody that has depression, who's ever thinking about suicide and like that. Uh, so I just want to give you that fair warning before I start my game. Hey, Nova. But anyway. Can you turn the game down a bit? Okay. Yes, of course. It's the game itself. Is that better? said I do apologize for the game it does tend to be like pretty loud um, this is a fair warning to anybody who is very easily triggered this game has um, depression anxiety anything that uh, us ourselves deal with a lot um, so if it starts getting too uncomfortable I do advise you to leave I don't want you to feel like you have to be here but, let's get started. Alrighty, so, go to new game. Hey! I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. I see an annoying girl run towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself uh, making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on, uh, on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she is going to chase me after, chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, however, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah! I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because... Well, I messed up already. See how it is? Uh, and I've also named it Mark. Uh, mainly because I a lot of people has already know that I am gender fluid. Um, so I just took my masculine name for this one. Alright, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you say like you're going to uh, thank him by ignoring me. That's mean, Mark. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> Don't mind me, I have been at work all day, so I'm a little goofy at this point. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Mark, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I really, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Ugh, that is not true. 
You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our main conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going, going on about. And I do apologize if I messed up on the reading itself. It makes it really hard, knowing, especially that all day I've had to deal with a lot of rude people at work, so be very patient with me. <laughs> Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Sounds like me. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I was worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. No, promise me though. See, I've already messed up. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if it does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have I guess I have no choice but to start with some with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I looked around and realized that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah! There is no way I'm going to your club. Ugh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. So she was the first one to show interest after the, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Oh, come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Nazuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have plans all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Sounds like me. I will do the same thing. I had to gently follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally use, used for the third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I 
glanced around the room. Well, the literature club. Welcome to literature club. I'm sorry. Welcome to literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, uh, Mark, what a nice surprise. Who doesn't want a cupcake? Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki? Hmm. Huh. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly in my, in my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Nazuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smart, smartest in the club. <clears throat> D don't say that. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Azuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Mark. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so generally feels a, feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Mark. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me and Mo me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. But how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Nazuki and Yuri walked over the corner of the room where Nazuki grabbed a wrapper, a wrapped tray and Yuri opened the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Nazuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, I guess. Anyway, Nazuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The little whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Nazuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks for a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Nazuki is quiet can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard it somewhere before. Made them from you made them for you or anything. Uh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe, but not for, you, you know, you dummy. 
Alright, alright. I give up Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, does a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Actually, it does. Well, mine wouldn't be tea. Mine would more be along the coffee, flavored coffee type shit. But, yeah. Ah, uh, I, I, I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not insulted, Yuri. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged in here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined the club yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Aren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. My game just wigged out. <laughs> anyway. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get their into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a good leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Now I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that that's much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. Well, do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Am I not the only one swaying to this music? Please tell me I'm not. <laughs> Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these, these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Mark, what, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Azuki's head suddenly, per suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the room for teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that built deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. 
and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I've walked in, but it's obvious that it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. <clears throat> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerses me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be deliberately take advantage of of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? And I do apologize if it does. It, it's pretty slow in the beginning of, these, of the game. Um, so I wouldn't, like, be mad if you left. Uh, but usually a game like this, it, it's pretty slow before it starts picking up. Um, but it's all to y'all. It's all choice. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, oh, I read a horror- I, I read a horror book once. I just really grabbed something I can relate to all the minimum level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone to- as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if the story makes you think or take me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief mo brief moment. Sorry. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Nazuki's eyes darted over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nazuki? W what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Give that back! Fine, fine. Ugh, your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Nazuki and puts her hand on her shoulder. I'm not cute! Nazuki, you... Nazuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No. Nazuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, it's very confident writer yet. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. My bad. I understand how Nazuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes taking takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your reader, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Nazuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to write everyone's- I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all sit silent for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Nazuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Mark? Maka smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Um, what's that? Now that we're back in the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may convince me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. 
All four girls stare at me, dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Mark... You all... I, I am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right? Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes li light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wrapped her, wrapped her arm around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would've been super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks. I guess. Alright, everyone. I think I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's... Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Maka looks over at me once more. Mark, I look forward to seeing you... Seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my medi mediocre writing skills? I already feel like anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Asuki clean up their food. Hey, Mark, since we're already here, do you want to walk me home? What? Do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stays after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us departed the club room and makes, make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will be fine. Will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. All right, let's see what we can do. And okay, I'm not really set on which girl or anything. I I guess some people are. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really set on, okay, maybe I want Sayori, maybe I want Nazuki, or maybe I want Yuri. It's just, I just go, I play as I go along. Hello, Sock. Um, I'm about to write a poem and end my, uh, live Twitch early, because I do have to get up early. Um. Because I have to make a two hour trip to pick up my roommate. But enjoy what I have left right now. And of course my videos are going to be saved. So uh, I'm pretty sure you can go see what all has went on. Alright, so I'm going to end it here. Have you played this before? Somewhat. It's been a very long time since I've played it. Uh, and trust me, I know how messed up it is, uh, if, if I remember correctly. But I'm going to get off. I will do part two either tomorrow or uh, Tuesday. I will let y'all know. Thank you for coming to see my uh, live on Twitch. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Thanks for joining.